Hey, welcome to part 7 of the small house project. Here we will add the basic materials to the exterior of the house like uh, brick face, the vinyl side in the roof, gutters, trim, concrete and maybe the grass. These are not detail maps, these are okay for rendering at a distance, not for close-up. So let's get started. All the materials I'm using are, are standard materials and uh, most of the maps are going to go directly onto the diffuse map, the diffuse color. If you look at on the internet, I found some shingles for the roof, for example, that look like this. There are some lines, looks like bricks almost, with a bit of dots uh, or noise in, in the pattern. So if you do the same thing, add the tiles to the diffuse and maybe the, do the color, you can follow most of the uh, numbers I'm doing here. I'm just turning around the, to 90 degrees. And uh, we'll change the size of these uh, tiles. And this is the, uh, the lines in between. Then you can tile it similar to what you see on the internet. And depending on the size of the tiles you use, a little bit of variation on the color will look like this. So that's pretty much for the roof because you won't even look at it much when you're rendering the house. So let's try not to do the, uh, the brick face. Same thing on the uh, brick face map. I, I will add a bitmap of bricks that I found on the internet. The only thing you have to consider here is that after you add the map, you give it a UVW as a box. Now you can see here if your map fits or not. You may have to count how many bricks for a, for a door height you should have. Between 25 and 32, maybe depending on the brick size. Next thing is you notice that the bricks don't align very well to the edges like in the corner here, you can move the, uh, the whole map by going into the gizmo here. And once this turns into yellow, just move it so that your uh, bricks are aligned a little better. And like you can see here, the corners and the edges sort of um, uh, fit better. So here, let's try something for the siding. You can use a map. I found one in the uh, Clean Textures folder of uh, 3ds Max. Again, you can make the corrections you need once you apply the map such as turning this 90 degrees and then uh, adjusting for the size the same way with it with the brick. For windows and doors, especially if they have glass, use the multi sub object material. First thing is change the number, the set number to 5 and then use number 3 that applies to the glass. So we have here an architectural map uh, materials already glass, clear glass. You select this one, leave it just as it is and apply that to number 3 on the sub-object. The, uh, the rest of the uh, sub-objects are the rest of the materials of the uh, window or the door. Apply some white color uh, paint with a little bit of glossiness to it. The garage door may not need uh, this type of uh, uh, material with the glass because you may not have glass, so you just apply directly the, uh, the wood color like this one. So you can make a copy of this and save it for, for later use. So next we'll make the rough concrete material. 
we can apply it to these labs and the foundation and other places you see here. Again, use using the standard. We're going to use a cellular map to the diffuse color and then uh, change the cellular color, uh, usually uh, concrete or rough concrete is gray and sometimes it's a little bit warm gray and uh, it has some of the spec specs like you see in cellular here so change it to chips and you can use these sizes that I've been using here for this project when you render from a distance this will look just fine We need a white metallic kind of material, but since it's white, the gutters and the spouts could be made out of uh, vinyl or maybe uh, uh, painted white metal. So any color will do, something like this. And uh, with a little bit of uh, reflection or glossiness. And that will be fine for the uh, gutters. You can use just white paint for the rest of the trim of the house. Again, this is up to you. You can use any color you want. So for this project, I'm using plain a semi-gloss white. Okay, now we can work on the patio slab if you have one. I'm going to use tiles again. You can turn this on to see your progress here. This has to be in perspective view to see it that way. And you can change the size. Usually uh, concrete uh, walks are divided by very th narrow lines so that they don't break in the middle. Change the variation of the color as well, and you will have a little bit more of a, of a realis realistic look. You can use this cellular pattern to make it look like uh, maybe some type of stone. Again, it's not that important, but it helps a little bit. At a distance, again, this looks just uh, acceptable. So now let's try to do something for the grass. For the grass, I already have done something. I'm going to let you see the parameters I use. This is just a uh, small bitmap of uh, very nice grass, all even. And I am adding noise to the specular color or to the bump. 
this adds uh, some sort of unevenness to the to the ground. It looks like there are spots, and also the uh, grass is when it's not that even. It it allows for some shaded area, some spots that look like uh, it's not completely flat. You can see here on the uh, when you render it this way, that gives the idea, the impression that it's up and down a little bit without having to work too hard on it. All right. The next thing we do is I'll, give, I'll, I'll show you the parameters I did for the uh, asphalt. For the diffuse, we use a map that is a mix. So we can mix two different maps here. One is the speckle, and you can see the numbers I used on the speckle, and the other one is cellular. On the cellular, you can also see the numbers I've used and the colors. If you want to copy this, these are the, uh, the parameters. On the mix here, I am having a mix amount of 10. Leave everything else the same way. Also, we're going to add some noise to the specular color and to the bump. You can change the blurriness down and that will make it a little uh, sharper. So you can see here, it's shining a little bit as if it has some spots like gravel. So that's it. Thank you for watching. On the next video, maybe I'll try to show how to, we can light up this house uh, using very simple techniques. Bye.